Number one, 57% of Americans don't have enough savings to cover a $1,000 emergency. 57% of individuals do not have enough savings to cover a $1,000 emergency. <laughs> and you know, this, you know why this, this makes me upset a little bit? But, but I have grace, and this is why I'm here doing what I'm doing, is because when I go on social media and I see my brothers popping a champagne bottle and they ain't drinking it, but they're pouring it out on the floor, pouring it out on my, 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 my sister's behinds. But then yet, we want to complain and say the system wasn't made for us but we're not being good stewards of the money that we have. And the reason why I gave that example is because you're dropping at least $800 to $1,000 for a champagne bottle. So you're throwing $1,000 on the floor, but then yet we want to complain and say that we don't have the money. You don't have $1,000 in your savings account, but then we got name brand clothing items and, and, and purses and shoes and, and, and expensive cars that, that we do not need to be having. An uh, average car note right now is $750. A brand new car note could be right around $1,000 to $1,200, but yet we do not have $1,000 in our emergency fund. And I'm pausing right there because it's like, I get it. I remember being young. And when I say young, I'm talking about, I used to be young financially, mentally, if that makes sense. I, I was immature financially while I was of age. And, 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 and you guys, this year I'm praying for increase. This year, I want us to increase in our wellness, increase in our abundance, increase in our freedom. I am not saying that we cannot have a good time. Um, I am not saying that we cannot go out there and have nice things. Here's what I am saying. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how wealthy you are. I do not see wealthy, smart individuals getting a champagne bottle and dumping it. Now, do we see them shake it up and pop it open and let the, you know, the stuff come out? Yes, absolutely we see that. But then we drink it. <laughs> you know, we're not gonna waste the money. And <laughs> how do I say this? If you don't have $1,000 in your savings account right now, One, I want to say, it's all right. I want to encourage you this year. Your goal right now is to get at least one month of expenses inside of your savings account. That's your goal right now. If that means you need to tell your friends, hey, I can't step out this weekend. Um, parents, if that means you need to tell your kids, hey, we, we can't do this for the next two months. We're going to eat in. We're not going to be able to do extracurricular things as of right now. If, if, if that means you need to make some sacrifices so that you can have some cushion for when an emergency happens, then that's what we got to do, you guys. The, the last thing you want to do is have an emergency come up and you have to go run into a payday loan advance place. You have to go run into the bank to borrow money that you cannot afford to even uh, borrow. What's going on everyone? It's your boy AO here and I'm super excited to share some incredible news with you. On January 22nd through the 26th, we're launching a transformative movement called Pray FYI, short for Pray for Your Increase. We're believing 2024 will be the year we eliminate debt and build wealth. So real quick, I wanna give you a sneak peek into what's happening January 22nd through the 26th. 
I wanna encourage you to join myself and thousands of others in this week of prayer as we're diving into a series of powerful sessions, each focusing on a key aspect of financial well-being. Join this movement by visiting prayfyi.com. You see, day one, we're focusing on debt reduction and financial stress. We'll be praying for wisdom to identify and eliminate unnecessary expenses, making room for your financial growth and stability. On day two, it's all about increase in salaries and business income. We'll come together and pray for guidance in pursuing career opportunities, promotions, and the skills needed to boost our income. Day three is all about increase in wealth and investment opportunities. Let's pray for discernment and wisdom. We need this in making sound financial decisions that lead to long-term, I mean long-term, I mean generational prosperity. On day four, we're tackling boosting multiple streams of income. Together, we'll pray for creativity and opportunities to diversify our income streams, creating financial abundance. And finally, on day five, enhancing legacy. Let's pray for discernment and wisdom in making some sound financial decisions that lead to long-term prosperity. I wanna personally invite you to join me on this journey of financial and spiritual growth. Listen, I honestly, I can't wait to see you there. Visit prayfyi.com to get started. I'll see you soon. We should be positioning ourselves to be prepared and ready for an emergency. And you guys, credit cards are not for an emergency. It's not. Credit cards are not for an emergency. It's not, it's not. Proceeds me to number two. There are 441 million credit card accounts of which 191 million accounts, 43.4% had a revolving balance carried from month to month during 2023. I'm sorry, during quarter two of 2023 while 65% say they carry a balance at least some of the time. This is coming from LendingTree. So 43.4% have a revolving balance, so this is nearly half of American people. 65%, the majority of people say, I tend to carry a balance from, from time to time, yes. I may carry it for two months, I may carry it for two years, I may carry it forever, but you know, I don't carry you know forever. They, they, they carry a balance the majority of the time. So when I hear people say, I pay off my credit card every single month, I never carry a balance, the majority of you are lying. Based upon the stats, the majority of us are lying. And so I did some research. There's there's two kinds of there's two numbers out there. There's 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 two numbers out there, right? Two numbers, two numbers, two numbers. Um, when it comes to a credit card balance, I saw one number of five thousand eight hundred dollars, but the Federal Reserve gave me a number of seven thousand nine hundred and fifty one dollars of the average credit card balance in the U S. And so I said, okay, I'm gonna stick with that one because it's the Federal Reserves and the U.S. Census Bureau. Paying the minimum balance of $150 on $7,951, if this was your credit card balance, it would take you eight years and 11 months to pay off that balance. If you just make the minimum payment on $7,951, that's about $150. It would take you eight years to pay that off. Almost nine. To be exact, it's eight years and 11 months. That's a total interest of $8,019 on top of the $7,951 that you borrowed. Pause. Pause. Why? 
to the individuals who don't carry a balance, this ain't for you. Okay, Th this ain't for you. But to the individuals who carry a balance, I really want to show you what you're doing and why this is so scary. This is why I'm, I'm adamant about financial freedom and not carrying debt.